In the Star Wars fandom, Stormkiller is deemed one of the most overpowered characters to ever grace the Force with his presence. From defeating Lord Vader and Emperor Palpatine and even bringing down an entire Star Destroyer himself, there's a reason that Starkiller will probably never make it into the current Star Wars canon. Let's break down the top 5 reasons he is one of the most powerful Star Wars characters to ever exist. Remember, if you want to stay up to date with all Star Wars regarding lightsabers, lore, and news, make sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. In the first spot, we have Galen's raw natural talent with the Force. Starkiller is considered non-canon in the larger Star Wars universe because of his extraordinary natural powers, which rank among the most powerful in the entire Star Wars expanded universe. Darth Vader was initially drawn to Starkiller for his overwhelming Force power. He was the son of Jedi's Kento and Mali Merrick. Using the Force, the small Galen Merrick managed to remove the lightsaber from Vader's grasp after Vader vanquished his father in battle. This only grew as he got older, and it grew stronger. In one instance, Starkiller was deprived of food and imprisoned in the dark until he successfully assembled a lightsaber. Although this seems like a straightforward accomplishment, it might have served as a prelude to Starkiller's supernatural force powers later in the series. Secondly is the fact that Galen was trained by the Chosen One himself. Many people think that Vader's torturous and harsh training techniques are the main cause of Starkiller's overwhelming character. Starkiller was not treated well by Darth Vader, who trained him in the fundamental of the Force solely and then made him use his wrath and rage for power, making him devise his strategies through rigorous test and sparring. He was tested to the limit as part of Darth Vader's experiment to explore how strong a Force user might get. A lifetime of fighting skill took the place of philosophy, meditation, and wisdom. On the orders of his master Lord Vader, Starkiller was able to defeat noble Jedi masters like Shock T on Felucia thanks to his combat training. For our third reason, it would have to be Starkiller's incredible Force abilities. Starkiller's ability to use the Force is one of his most intriguing traits and may be the main source of his immense power. The most infamous of Star Wars Force powers, Force Explosion, was a never-before-seen ability that allowed him to use the Force to implode the air around him. Additional aspects of Starkiller's Force skills include his ability to disintegrate several attackers with Force Lightning and his more defensive application of the power which allowed him to form a lightning shield that would block Palpatine's Force Lightning and compel Darth Vader to concede defeat. Last but not least, our protagonist possessed complete control over the Force using his ability abilities like Force Push, Force Repel, and Force Throw to unleash even more vicious and lethal strikes. Starkiller was able to defeat any opponent he met with these lethal skills, as seen in the series-long victory over Darth Vader and Darth Sidious. This would support the theory that Starkiller's special Force abilities, some of which have never been seen in the Star Wars universe, were the primary reason he was so overwhelming. His midichlorian count was at 22,000, which is higher than Darth Sidious' 20,000 but falls short of Darth Vader's 27,000. In the fourth spot, we have Starkiller's legacy as being a Force user who used both the light and the dark sides of the Force, the quality that most likely contributed to Starkiller's rise to prominence and his legacy. Being a Force user with the ability to wield the standard powers of both the Sith and the Jedi, he gained the respect of both orders. While hiding on the planet Raxus Prime, Starkiller kills Kazan Paratus, the former Jedi Master and General of the Grand Army of the Republic in Star Wars The Force Unleashed. The assassination of Jedi Master Shock T and the execution of such a distinguished and honorable Jedi surviving made Starkiller a terrifying figure to the remaining members of the Republic. However, Starkiller was also feared and hated a great deal inside the Sith Order. In the last spot, we have Starkiller's hate and anger, which gave him the power to defeat the likes of Vader and Palpatine. Starkiller endured suffering at the hands of his master to develop an affinity to the dark side. This character was primarily drawn by Darth Vader's treachery in the Star Wars The Force Unleashed and Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. In one version, Darth Vader quickly stabbed Starkiller from behind with his lightsaber after admitting to him that he had been nothing more than a tool once Sidious discovered him rearing the hidden apprentice. This betrayal served to foster sentiments of rage and hatred inside him by symbolizing the mistrust and removal of Starkiller. After telling his apprentice that he would abstain, Darth Vader ambushed the Rebel Alliance on Corellia, which resulted in the capture of Rebel allies Rom Koda and Bail Organa, which fueled Starkiller's feelings of rage and loathing even more. This would imply that Starkiller's hatred and rage towards his master's deeds fueled his might and assisted in his growth throughout the series, explaining why he always outperformed in Star Wars. Let us know in the comments which of the two Star Wars The Force Unleashed games is your favorite and why. Also make sure to check out both of Starkiller's lightsabers on our website if you want to be one of the most overpowered Star Wars characters yourself. And as always, may the Force be with you.